Hi everyone and welcome back to Leisure World Model Railway. Okay, today I'm going to show you uh, a moving balloon that I've added to the layout. So this is the balloon, it's an N-gauge balloon uh, that's hanging there. Uh, there are three N-gauge people in the basket below. And uh, now this balloon's very heavy and it took a lot of... Uh, I couldn't use cotton to hang it so I had in the end to use string because uh, it's so heavy and uh, that's partly because it's the plastic and partly because inside there's an electronic movement sensor that lights up a little LED uh, as if the, uh, the burners were, were going uh, on the balloon when it's moving so uh, just give me two secs and I'm going to start it up one moment okay we're off so now this balloon guy is quite clever he can see he's going to hit the cable car here so he uh, manages well he does hit the cable car I need to adjust that slightly but he uh, manages to uh, change the direction controlling the wind and come back the other way But now he sees he's going to hit the uh, mountain, if, so he's got the burners on, but he realises he's not going to make it, so he controls the wind and turns round and comes back the other way. So there you have it, there's my moving balloon. So the only thing I need to do is just slightly adjust where this cable car is, this mast. It's just hitting this mast, it's partly because it's as it's moving, it's uh, swinging around a bit. And as you can see, you've got the burner underneath going in the basket. going to do is just put this down a moment and uh, shut the curtains and then you'll see it better in the dark. There you go, hopefully you can see the, uh, the burner now in the balloon. really frustrating I measured that so many times I thought I got it clear in it and it's just hitting it so I'll have to amend that but yeah hopefully in inside the underneath the balloon you can see the burner light going And there you have it there's my moving balloon so other things I've done on the layout I'll, uh, I'll show you okay next. so other things I've done I've repainted the pavement uh, or pavements including round here and along here so they're a different color to the road surface so I've got them uh, a lighter gray if you like and that and, and also round the uh, around the station area and that's made it stand out from the road and it looks a lot better with that lighter grey you can tell the difference between the road and the pavement because it was the same colour I'd used the same paint on the road and the pavement previously which wasn't great and I, I knew I needed to change it and I've got round to doing it finally I've also put on some uh, white fencing around the level crossing just to cordon that off so for in, so here for instance you've got the uh beware of the train sign uh there's one the other side here as well and yeah so there's white fencing there and also on the other level crossing over here the same situation and again got the beware of the train sign on here and on the 
that one even though you won't be able to see that so that's all done okay so that's the fencing done there and then we're going over next to the uh, beach scene where I've added some donkeys so there's a donkey there being pulled along with a little girl on it and two more there uh, and lastly this has been there for a while an Easter egg which uh, I haven't shown before so up by the surfers you've got a lot of the girls chatting to the uh, uh, lifeguards uh, so there's a and, and to the surfers so there's a surf dude here chatting to a girl a girl here uh, another couple there uh, another girl here chatting to the thing to the to the lifeguard but if you look there's an Easter egg inside here there's one of the uh, lifeguards seems to have got lucky and is uh, having a bit of fun with one of the girls so there's your easter egg haven't shown that before uh, it's one of those things that you got to look for when you're looking at the layout uh, yeah so there you go So lastly, I'm just going to turn the shut the curtains again and leave you with the fireworks display uh, going, which I know I showed you last time, but what I didn't do was show you it without the cable car running, which was a bit noisy and meant you couldn't hear the noise from the fireworks. So this is the fireworks. And hopefully you can hear the noise now. So let me just put the uh, thing down and shut the curtains. Now at the moment you'll notice that these are all more or less going off at the same time. Uh, I can get them going off at different times by uh, unplugging and plugging each individual one in and out uh, which means they're not synced but they're all onto a four gang socket and I've just, um, I've just uh, plugged the socket in which is why they're all going off at the same time at the moment but uh, I can adjust that uh, I just haven't for this particular video And that's a bit about it from Leisure World this time. Until the next video, if you're liking these, please share, like and subscribe. Uh, I'll leave you with the balloon going. And uh, thanks for watching. And until next time.